This is a great house, built in 1947. Cape Cod style, redone in beautiful condition. You know, what I love about this, it really has a small town village feel. It's not the hustle and bustle of other areas. It's yeah. a, it's, we're so close in, but it's a small town in a lot of ways. Let's Have go. fun. Thank you. All right. Oh, OK. <laughs> Beautiful staircase right here. It is. Uh, so your first inclination is you're either going to go right up the steps yep. or you're going to flow into the dining room. Why don't we flow Let's into, flow the, into dining the dining room? <laughs> Good place to start. <laughs> so this is very much the Cape Cod layout I was envisioning. Sure is. And this is a good sized dining room. But open at the same time. You know what mm -hmm. I think helps it feel open is this staircase because I don't know if there was a wall here before, but it also opens up the space on this first floor. It does, and I bet they put in the iron. Yeah, this is right. definitely new, and it's very nice. It is very nice. And speaking of very nice, this kitchen tile. Oh, that is a beautiful design choice mm -hmm. for this house. If you took the floor away, you would have a very nice black and white kitchen. Mm -hmm. With the floor, you've got va-va-boom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and leaning up against this countertop, yep. I don't, I'm not quite sure what kind it is. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. You know, I think that's granite, but it's honed and not polished. Oh. So they give it a little oh, texture. Okay. And I like the feel of it. So do I. It's almost like that soapstone we saw. Well, the thing that we also have to note is all these great windows looking out at the adorable backyard. And there's more house to see. More house to see. <laughs> all right, so we have a full bath. OK, with the shower. Right, and you know, if you're aging in place, that's the type of shower you want, just mm -hmm. a simple walk-in. Yeah, you don't need a tub. No, no. And speaking of aging in place, corner bedroom. bedroom. Mm -hmm. And it's nice, light, and bright. So this is the perfect place to age in place. Bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, dining room, and living room. Well, this brings us full circle. <laughs> it does, or full square. Look at these floors. Very, I like these floors. OK. I have a feeling that these are the original floors, yeah. but during that time period, they would have been stained dark. Mm -hmm. But when they refinished them, they left them light, and I really like it because you can see kind of the fun imperfections, the knots. I think it gives it so much more character. Yeah, I prefer this color, and it is kind of a little bit more modern to go with the rest of these modern touches that have been put up. It does fit with what they've done um, in the house now. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, have we mentioned this gate? Isn't it cute? Perfect for babies, dogs. Mm -hmm. Do you hear the squeak in these steps? Yeah, <laughs> that's know? a good squeak. You know those are original to the house. <laughs> yeah, they are. OK, left or right? Oh, I'm ahead of you. I think we're you. going left. So this must be the main bedroom. Mm -hmm. I love how they put these drawers into this dead space, and they even put a closet in here. All right, this house gets better and better all the time. So next room. Another bedroom. Okay. Adorable. Huh. I thought we would see a bedroom the same size. I know, as I was the thinking the same thing. But that means that the steps aren't at the center of the house. So they sacrificed um, space on this side of the house for that mm -hmm. nice bedroom on the right. other. Good choice. Makes sense. Okay, so I'm guessing bathroom. The bathroom. So we've seen three bedrooms, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this is the second full bath. Spacious. Very spacious, and a window in every single room. Downstairs? Downstairs we go. Oh, this is nicely finished. Yeah. These are these spaces that you can use them really for whatever you want. And they are. Yeah. Family room, office. Office. Lots of space. And then over here. Cute yeah. little playroom. And it looks like a Another. full bathroom. Yep. They packed a lot into this little house. They did pack a lot in this little house. So. And in addition, there's a nice backyard. And that's where we're going to go meet Mark. Let's go. Welcome back. Hey. Hey. Hi. How did it go? It's just delightful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, because you walk in, you can see you know, the renovations that have been done, with the flow from the dining room to that kitchen. Mm -hmm. And that wall was most likely knocked down. At one okay, point, it was that a little entryway. To open it up. But everybody now likes them opened up, and I'm mm -hmm. sure that's what they did. Right. And what a difference it is. Well, the first floor flow in itself is just perfect. And I think also the color palette, yeah. like the black, the white, the wrought iron, the wood tones, those great wood floors. Those are original wood floors. Yes, which are sir. really stunning. And those squeaky steps on the way down. <laughs> That's called <laughs> character. That's what you call an alarm system. You don't ever sneak it out of this house. Some of the post-war capes didn't have a bathroom up top. Yeah. So you have two great bedrooms, but no bathroom. This has the bathroom up, which is a big plus. And that was a big bathroom. Yes. So the recap is three bedrooms, three full baths. 
approximately 1,300 square feet on the top two levels and built in 1947. The house is really close to downtown Kensington. You can walk in five minutes to the Mark train and only 10 minutes to the Metro stop. That's so, great. Wonderful location. That is great location. Yeah. We'll let John okay. go first. I think I'm gonna go so. first today and I have a number in my head. <laughs> I'm going to give you a guess, Mark, of 600,000. 600. Confidence. I'm gonna come in at 560,000. Okay. You both did well. Okay. okay. 575. Oh! <laughs> I missed it by a lot. You know, honestly, I was teetering back and forth.